We think this is our ferry. We think we made it, but we're gonna have to be sure. <laughs> it's just harder than it looks. We're Keith and Deb, and at the moment we're traveling in Greece with Ali B and Max. Today we are attempting to take a night ferry to Crete. Subscribe to follow along. Well, last two minutes here. Few hours. Because we're catching a ferry to go to Crete. <laughs> Woo! Let's do this. Our but it's an all night ferry. Night ferry, all together, slumber party. <laughs> Let's hope Let's it works out. First, we have to take the subway to get to the port, which all of us have never been to. Also, I always take the stairs when I get the opportunity. Hey. We get them? We're good. That was, that was elegant. That was tricky. <laughs> Chaotic. <laughs> Time to get off the train. <laughs> also, that train ride was really very small. It was only one euro twenty each, all the way to the port. We think at least. Hot though. Success. I always am scared. I'm always gonna lose my ticket because I always forget you have to use it to get out. This port is pretty big, and we still have three hours until our actual ferry, but two hours until we want to be there. Our gate is on the other side of this port. So the priority is to make sure that we know where we're going and then we can post up somewhere. Also, give yourself time because it is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Best thing to do before a nine hour ferry ride is stock up on some groceries at our favorite grocery store in Europe, Lidl, who these who haven't seen, so we're gonna go show them a Lidl. Woo! All right, we got a cart for this stuff. Shopping. This is actually, I love Lido. We could just, I don't have a bag on my back. We're gonna spend some time in here. What do you think? Pretty cool. I mean, everything's cheap. So. Success. We got everything we need for tonight. We did it. Now we're walking back to the port. This happens a lot when you get stuck on a traffic island. Find our terminal. Two terminals at this ferry port. It's busy here. So our gate says E2, but the guy at the boat says it's E1. So it's a good thing we came early. Good thing we came early. It's also a bunch of transport trucks here. A bit messy. Not really an obvious walkway, is there? We're good. We're crossing the street. That way. I really hope that guy was right. Oh my god, they're so far. <laughs> the gates are pretty far apart, and this boat at E1 is looking like a cruise ship. That was my onion lines, though. I'm very confused. I know. I'm, th I'm thinking they're going to be like, no, wrong boat, and we're going to have to go back the way we came for this guy. We're going to have to turn around. You feel it? I know it. Yeah, me too. I think I just saw another boat up there, but we're getting to the point where it's like we got to figure out where to go because it's kind of starting to kind of close somehow. Just talk to this man behind us who helped these two girls. It's wrong. E2 is, is incorrect on our ticket. The guy did try to help us out, but it's even further than what he described. We got to go down this, looks like a dock, around the other side. So good thing we gave ourselves quite a bit of time. The ferry's at 10.30. It is now 8.50. We think this is our ferry, we think we made it, but we're gonna have to be sure. <laughs> it's just harder than it looks. We can sit anywhere we want. We can put our bags back here, we can sit by the luggage shelf. But I think we can sit anywhere we want because because there's no assigned seats maybe if you book the lowest class, which we did. <sighs> wow. We're sitting down. Look all the space we have. Woo! Woo wee. You are here. We are gonna go explore this oh, place God, and I'm bringing this bag with me because this is my life and I don't know this, the safety of this right, place. It's probably totally fine, but gotta keep it that way just in case. Can you this 
there's a pool. We're just not sure if we can use it or not. So we're gonna go find it. This is so cool. There's a, there's a bar, a cafe, and over here there's a pool apparently. Oh, it's closed. So just so you know, this was the cheaper option in terms of getting to Crete. It was 36 euros per person. We are staying in like the seated area, but you're allowed to roam the boat and hang out in all these areas. We're literally on the top deck right now. We've never been on a boat like this before, but it's really cool and a really good deal. Oh my goodness. Max got me a beer. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Now we're gonna play cards and hang out. Carrots and chips, my favorite. Yeah. A snacky dinner, Devin's favorite. So another thing is you're allowed on early and the boat actually doesn't leave for another 40 minutes. So you can get here early, run around the port for two hours, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then find your boat. Yeah, they give you time to do that. <laughs> So we are moving, the boat is leaving exactly on time. So now we have eight hours on this boat till we get to Crete. Max, that was the world's slowest shuffle deal. Sorry, I'm just a slow guy. So as tired as we are. We're gonna quickly give you a tour of this boat because it's pretty cool and we didn't realize there was so much dog There's, There's like, like eight seats. floors too. Yeah. So let's get to it. There's a top rear deck with a helicopter pad. So down this hall, there's VIP class, which is I think just the same thing, fancier chairs with TVs. There's an elevator and stairs to go down. There's another seating area here. There's a bunch just throughout the boat and we're pretty sure you can kind of sit wherever you want except for those fancy seats. Well, we don't know, that's just what we're kind of assuming. Because that's what happened to us and it wasn't clear. A nice hallway. So this boat is obviously not full because there's a lot more rooms with seats in it that you can sit in, but they're locked off. So lots of people can come sit on this boat. Another deck. It's down this hallway, and I think there's a few of these. There's hotel rooms, essentially cabins that you can rent out. They cost a bit more. There's a bed. But obviously, we're not staying there tonight. At the other floor, there's an internet and games room. This place just keeps going. This is called the snack bar. I think it's still open and serving food and drinks, and all this lounge space as well. You can just chill. It's really awesome. There's also a fancy restaurant. It just closed at 11.15 p.m. So you could come and have a nice meal on the first part of your trip. So below us, there are more seats and cabins, and then the car park below, and then above us are more seats and cabins as well. And that's kind of the tour, other than the tip deck that we were playing cards and enjoying earlier. Like Max said, this is more of a cruise than it is a ferry, is it? I, yeah, I was not expecting this at all. This is really cool. Pretty elaborate. And it's like, this is just our journey to the on island. Yeah, it's kind of an adventure in itself. So after going on that tour, we decided to move locations. Because there's a lot of empty seats. <laughs> we want quiet and full rooms for And it's a bit darker down there too in the blue rooms. So we're off to find the bathroom to put on our bedtime clothes. Oh. And brush your teeth and check out the bathroom, but we don't know where it is. Yeah. So that's our first step. Alright, pretty nice. They don't smell bad. It's a good start. Time to brush our teeth. And I'm actually excited to sleep. I know. Oh, I think I was a little worried. But we're gonna sleep. We're gonna sleep. It's gonna happen. Successful trip, but now it's the boys' turn. My turn for the bathroom break. I think it's right over here. The gentlemen's. Sorry, battery died, but not much you can do there. Change my outfit, bit of a, you know, paper towel shower. And that's all, now it's bedtime. I think everyone's asleep already. Um, I think I was actually almost asleep, but I heard my movement, yeah. Good night. Good night. I'm right across the hallway. Well, I'm all set up. I got three seats for myself. Towel as a blanket and a packing cube as a pillow. Pretty good. Now let's see if I can sleep. Good night. A 
update. It's four o'clock in the morning. We're still two and a half hours away. Earplugs are doing great. It got cold though, with my sweater on. Kind of cold, put some thick socks on. Kind of funny. Everyone seems to be asleep as well. The lights are still on. But I feel like we could turn those off with light switches. stuff we slept I think horribly wow this sunrise the views are on Crete over here for the next little while yep and although the ferry landed not where we thought it was gonna land so now we're docked docked sorry so now we have to figure out how to get to the town yeah it's not in town so we gotta either taxi or bus so we'll figure that out well it's a wrap we're heading off the ferry thank you for the good night dear ferry <laughs> hey we got lucky in terms of like seat like sleep yeah, arrangements so we were these benches were perfect just next time bring warmer clothes yeah bring warm clothes but these benches were great mm -hmm. no agreed cool We're on the island. Nice. Look at that sunrise. Got our tickets. Yay. That was easy. It was good. It was here. Okay, we sat down. We're on the bus and now we just need to find the closest stop to our place because we can actually check in, which we is We can nice. check in. We, didn't we, think got, we can check until 3. We got news near. We meet people. They're so nice. Yeah. So it's like a 7 a.m. check in. Wow. After we nap, of course. It's still early in the morning, but it is such a nice temperature right now. It's like 23 degrees, a little breeze. Ah, oh, that feels good. Okay, we made it. Nice. Come on in, folks. 42. Have to take a nap. 42. <laughs> 42. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Woo! We made it to our Airbnb. And although that was a lovely night on the ferry, I think we're gonna take a power nap. Yeah, we're excited to explore Shania. Hanya. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We have directors. <laughs> and cut scene. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, Max. Keep it going. Yeah. Bring your, bring your woo girls. <laughs> Can I try to take it off? Has it help? <laughs> cut, yeah. What is going on? I did it, okay. Nice. Look at that sunrise. That's a rare thing in our videos. Welcome to Dominique's vlog. We are now in Hinaya. Um, day one, doing, gonna go explore the town and then do some, um, maybe go to the beach. And then tomorrow, it's gonna be our big day. I don't think we're gonna film today because tomorrow we're doing a big exciting thing that they'll tell you all about. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs>